Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be covering the new best solo red worm boss fight loadout. We're going to be once again returning to the TYR. The Snake Shot King is back, ladies and gentlemen. They finally added the conversion kit, the Jack Beholder rifle kit. You're going to slap that on. It's going to give you an elongated barrel here, which is going to practically turn this thing into a sniper. We're still going to be using the snake shot here because the snake shot gives you that massive damage at close range, but the barrel is going to give you that slightly extra range to be reaching the red worm, especially up top by his neck. Then we're going to add the lock grip precision 40 here, the under barrel. You can switch this out for whatever you want. This is just what I decided to pick. We're going to be going over to the fury trigger action here, which is going to give you the fastest fire rate possible for this revolver because you only have five rounds. So you need to be able to shoot those rounds off pretty quick. And last but not least, we're going to be putting on the one milliwatt pistol laser for the best hip fire accuracy possible because you're most likely going to be hip firing with this gun especially with snake shot but other than that i'll let the video do the talking catch you guys in the next one peace all right ladies and gentlemen let's get ready to rumble red worm boss fight the snake shot king is back we're not glitching out with our animations which is always nice to see maybe this is a decent lobby who knows? And we're gonna have a decent amount of time. 11 and a half minutes to fight him. Not bad. Just in case things go south. The one main issue I wanna point out with this gun is obviously you only have five bullets and you have to reload every like 10 seconds, right? Now keep in mind, if you're not dealing constant damage to the worm boss, or you don't crack his armor fast enough, he will start healing. So the main issue I've had every single time I fought in him, he's healed up at the very end, which screws you over because you can't deal enough damage in time because uh, the storm is going to close out and the game's just going to end up quitting. So you're pretty much screwed. So that's the main issue I've been having, but I brought in the Wonder Wolf to kind of do crowd control as a help because that's one of the one of the main issues as well is needing to do crowd control so we'll see what happens here because the other game i had him at a sliver of hp no joke and he just went down under and healed which got frustrating but other than that this gun deals massive damage to the worm that's crazy Yo, chill. So far, so good. We've managed to keep our black hole grenades. It's always a plus. A nuke? Oh shit. No, I wanted to actually grab the nuke. Having a nuke this early on is actually crazy. Oh 
Or the nuke didn't do anything, I guess. Okay, this is an issue now. We're just struggling with basically zombies randomly. It's not supposed to be that difficult. We're on our last self too, which kind of sucks. We're not doing too bad on time. It's not the best in the world, but let's deal with it for now. Yo, can you chill? Chill out, man. God damn. God damn. The wisps are so annoying. What kind of perk is or drop is this? Max ammo. Yo, chill. Alright, that's why we have a backup. Oh, 
Oh no. He's so lit too. There we go. Thank you, Lord. Ooh, that wasn't too bad. Holy moly. I was slightly worried. We didn't even use our uh, Wonder Wolf that time. But we, we managed to do it. It gets pretty intense trying to fight the red worm with just this gun alone because you only have five rounds like i said before and you need to do constant damage you need to be breaking his armor because if you're not doing that he's just going to go underground heal and you're screwed because once he heals up it's almost impossible to recover from that but we managed to do it um and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace